How's it going everybody? Logan here, aka Downtown Bricks. And today I'm going to be showing off my Lego Mario collection. As of 2022 of September of whatever today is. So, just do a quick far back shot so you can try to see everything. So I got three bookshelves, obviously, with one of them filled up with all my Amiibo, which I'll have a separate video on that on my The Sockman channel, which is where I put all my gaming stuff. But anyways, you came to see the Nintendo Lego stuff. So up here, we have my favorite set. One of the best sets of all time, the Lego Nintendo NES set. Nintendo NES, whichever you want to call it. And, which I should probably put this out and actually display it, but I have the cartridge inside. But I like to keep it in there as if it's actually playing the game. I guess you could also pretend like there's just two separate cartridges. One's displayed and one's inside. Even though the controller is not even plugged in. And there's the TV. And it goes, it just barely fits to where this wall is. Like, just the slightest smidge of a inch. But I'm so glad it fits up there because it works so well. And eventually, I'll eventually put the Atari right beside it. Which I think would look great. And then right down below it, you have what I like to call Toad Town. So this is where we have Creepy Pasta Mario and Luigi. Since they're pretty much always turned off until I actually need to use them to build the sets. So starting here on the left, we have Mario's house. And some of these I had to modify just a bit, just so that way they would fit into the shelves themselves. But we have Mario's house over here with Yoshi just chilling with him. In the back we have that, what was supposed to be the Comic Con exclusive Toad House until they made it a Target exclusive since when everything went into shutdown. And then we have the yellow Toad House, red Toad House, purple Toad House, and then the tree. And I didn't have anywhere to really put the hammock so it's just kind of stuck back there. And we got Toadette, and then Toad's front and center with the warp pipe. And they're just all chilling in there, having fun, being a village. And that's the first world I like to call it. I try to separate these into like what you would see in different levels. So if you move down here, we have like the haunted mansion kind of level. So we have the entrance to the gate here, well the in, the gate entrance I should say. Going to King Boo. And there's not too much going on in this one. I put the little block maker you can modify the blocks with back here just because it fit with the rest of the theme. And then you got Pink Yoshi. And then moving over here, I have both of my coins. I put them here just because it was easier to see it than up here since you're having to look face down at them. And there's not too much craziness going on there but there's the haunting level. And then going down, this is one of my favorite ones, you got the guarded fortress here. So you got Boom Boom off to the side, uh, Shy Guy fell down, I didn't even realize that. But we got Shy Guy. You got the Bonsai Bills back there. I took them off the off of this just because the clear pieces like to bend. I was going to change that out or fix it so that way it won't bend when they're on it because it's very noticeable when they are. And then you have Koopa Troopa, another mushroom back there. And just some, a bunch of enemies scattered around. There's the piranha plant. And then we got the sumo bro up here. 
just some open field back there. Larry's up top on this castle since I put Bowser Jr. in his clown car, which is a really cool little set. So that's the entirety of that level right there. And then we have the castle level, Bowser's castle anyways. So here's the Womp, and I got the Womp back there, which this was the only shelf I could really put it on. I wanted to put this theme up higher on the up here. I would have had to move the shelves, and since all the shelves are exact height with each other, I didn't want to change it, so I just put it down here. I got the little bone train back there. Got Boo. Bowser himself. So, yeah, that's a really cool one back there. Then down here. We have the swamp level. So I used to have the desert one down here until I moved it, which you'll see in a moment. But yeah, we got the swamp down here. We got the scuttlebug. We got some piranha plants, more booze, wiggler, chain chomps back there. Just a whole lot of purple down there, which is really cool looking. So yeah, there's all of that bookshelf right there. And then if we move around this pole over here, we have the sky level. And this is one of the coolest sets that they've made. This is one of the best display pieces you could get for a Lego Mario, since it's pretty self-contained within itself. This whole airship. This is one of my personal favorites, and it really sticks out from the rest of the sets. We got Magic Koopa up here, Pirate Goomba, and then over here we have the Sky World. We got Lactitude up there and the Cannon. Yeah, there's not too much going on here. This will expand eventually with a couple of other Sky sets that they have. I'll probably have to move the airship to somewhere else since there's so many of them. The few of them are pretty big, so. And then down here, this one's noticeably empty. That's because I plan on putting Luigi's Mansion sets in here. Right now, all I have is the EGATS laboratory, so he's just chilling there by himself. So when that's completed, you'll have all the haunted stuff over there. And then you have all the Luigi's Mansion stuff over here, which will look great right beside each other. And then moving on down, we have the Desert World. So we got the Piranha Plant Slide, got some Paratroopas, Koopa Troopas, Pokies, Parapa Bombs, just whole bunch of stuff going on down here, which is really cool. And then down here, this is sort of like the extra stuff. This is what I like to call the Mario Maker shelf. Because so we got all the power-ups here. We got Fire Mario, Builder, Bee, Penguin, the Frog Suit, the Propeller, the Cat, and the Tanuki Suit. And then we just have some miscellaneous objects and terrain and characters down here. Which I really hope they make more ice themed sets because they really need a home somewhere because right now it's as you can see they got the the swamp bowser's castle overworld and just all that kind of stuff but they haven't really made any like ice themed levels yet so maybe in the future maybe next year one can hope but yeah, there's basically the miscellaneous of what that is. And all of that's the extra connectors I just kept within the Mario stuff just so that way it's all together. 
And then there's nothing down here yet, just some miscellaneous stuff. I plan on putting more Mario stuff down there once I get more of it. Because I'm not sure where I'm going to put Peach's castle yet. And I still need to get the question block mark. And then the, the big giant Bowser comes out next month, I believe. And the only place I can really see to put him would be up here. But then I would have to move the amiibo to somewhere else. So I'm not sure where I'm going to be putting all that. So yeah, there's my comp oh, I forgot a couple things over here. The keychain. That's literally it. <laughs> That's the only other Lego Mario thing I have. So yeah. There is my complete Lego Mario collection. So please guys, comment down below what y'all think of these sets. What do you think of the collection? I'd really love to hear your thoughts. That'd be great. And then shameless plugins here. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Join the Discord and subscribe to my gaming channel. Which I'll probably put a video of these amiibos on there. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys whenever I post a new video. Ciao.